Ganache? That might be it. I don't think it's ganache. That doesn't look like ganache. Um, oh, I have no idea. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and today I'm bringing you the fourth update for my eyes project pan. Eyes stands for enjoy your eyeshadows and this project was created by Debbie who I'll have a link down below as well as everyone else who has joined in. The purpose of this project is, as the name says, to enjoy your eyeshadows, to go out there and get some use out of them. I've been doing this as a no pan left behind for a number of different, different palettes within my collection. And I'm pleased to say that I'm going to be rolling in three new palettes for the end of this project. I have also rolled in one mid update palette throughout the time since my last update. These videos are always super long, so sit down, relax, grab a drink and enjoy the ride. I'm going to start off by going through the palettes I was still working on since last update. Then I'll discuss the one I rolled in mid-update before I finally bring in my three new eyeshadow palettes. So first up, we have here the I Heart Revolution Black Cherry Palette. This is what it looks like just here. And let's go through my uses. I used Cake once, Compote once, Frosty twice, Cheesecake, Cherry Soda and Liqueur once, Ganache Couture, whatever it is, that one once, Twizzle twice, Pie once, Snow in Love and Tipsy also once, Succulent twice, Brandy once, Picked and Punnet twice, Waft, Alpine and Hot Chocolate all once each. So this one is rolling out. Overall, I did enjoy this palette and I especially enjoyed these two shadows here. Let me give you a quick little, that's what they look like. That is them right there. I enjoyed those colours. It was something a bit different that I don't normally use. So I really enjoyed using it. In fact, they would have to probably be, yeah, they would probably be my peaks from this palette. Then we have the Emily Edit The Wants palette. This one looks like this. It is quite a large palette and let's go through my uses. So I used the cream three times, hobby, prayer, grateful, good vibes and side hustle all once. I used Midwest and Jews paid once, Eve Rose four times, Belle Violet once, Capricorn and Pfi once, Oh Heavens five times, Love Tons once, Pizzazz twice, Family once, Top Story twice, Apartment once, Cupcake once, Laugh Cry twice, Cheer nine times. This one is in my Buffy the Vampire Slayer Pan More with Feeling project. I'll link that one up in the cards. Heartbeat once, Corduroy and Dark and Early twice. I actually got quite a lot of use out of this palette and overall I did enjoy it. I'd have to say that my peaks would have to be Grateful, which is this green shade up here, and maybe Corduroy, these two just here. Oh, let me, there we go, those two just there. They would have to be my favorites from this palette. Actually, I also really like Oh Heavens and Cupcake as well. They're beautiful inner corner highlights. 
that's what those look like that is a terrible swatch but those ones would have to be my peaks i don't really enjoy dark and early the black that one would probably have to be my pit for this palette I have definitely reached my no pan left behind goal. Then we have Frozen Raspberries. This one is also I, I heart, an I Heart Revolution palette. This is what this one looked like. And let us jump in. Oh, it smell, still definitely smells like raspberries. But let's, let's, oh, my English today. Let's jump in to my uses. I used Spritzer, Berry Burst, Melt, and Kool Aid all once. Shortcake twice. Amaretto once. Iceberry Pluck Parfait Jam once. Blast twice. Cloudberry four times. That one is in my Beauty A to Z project, as always, linked in the cards. Popsicle twice, blue, trifle, tray bake, gin, and tort all once each. This is quite a lovely palette overall with a real variety of colours. There is definitely a lot more shimmers in this than they are mattes. And I haven't actually tried using it as a consistent palette in itself. But I do think, to be honest, that I might struggle with that. I really love Tray Bake and Gin. Those colours are gorgeous. But overall, this palette is quite lovely, especially for a sparkly, shimmery pop to any look. This one rolling out. Then we have the W7 Whatever Totally Random palette. This one looks like this. And let's once again go through my uses. I used every shadow in this palette once and once only, especially because I'd already hit pan on gold card just as it rolled into this project, which meant that I had reached that beauty A to Z goal. I'd say overall, I really did enjoy this palette. There are some interesting colours in here. It liked mustard. That was an interesting shade, as was this says who colour just here. That was a really interesting shade. Something a bit different to use on my eyes. So this one rolled out fairly quickly. And then we have the Maybelline The Blushed Nudes palette. This is this one here. And once again, let's jump into my uses. So the first three shades, these shades do not have names. I used once each. I used that pink shade twice. And I used the following two once each. Then I used the first three on the bottom row once. I used number 10 six times. That one's in my beauty A to Z. And I use the last two once each as well. This is a very light palette. So if you were looking to do just a soft shadow look, this is definitely the palette for you. But if you're looking for something with a bit more bang for your buck, this is not going to get that for you. I did like this shade right here, this pinky shade. It's kind of funny. I um didn't realize I liked pinks as much as I seem to be gravitating towards them, especially those plummy pink shades. But this one has rolled out as well. So because I had reached my goal on all of those palettes, I decided to do a mid update roll in. And for that, I rolled in this Beauty Bay Nikki Tutorials palette. This is what it looks like. It is very hard to hold up. That is it right there. And I have managed to use all of these shadows at least once. Let's jump in and I'll give you the uses. So I used Redemption once, Blend and Snap once, Ivy three times, Slasher once, 5am twice, Roxy Catown twice, 
Vala once, Mika once, Mila three times, Underground once, Plot Twist once, Aura two times, Basic Turret once, All In once, Ew once, Pride twice, Zuma once, Mama Tutorials twice, Amsterdam once, and Mr. Tutorials also once. So I managed to get a decent amount of use out of this palette. I did enjoy using it um, and I am happy to have it in my collection. But this one thankfully is rolling out, which means we get to roll in some new palettes. And because we don't have much longer in this project, this is the last update before my finale, I've decided to just roll in three. And because we've just come out of October and we are still in spooky season, I've decided to roll in these three rather spooky palettes. So let me just give you a look at them. First up, we have the LA Splash Classic Horror Palette. This is this one here. And I am looking forward to using these shadows. They are all matte shadows, kind of like dusty, like dirty rainbow, I guess is probably the best way to explain it. Though they are quite bright. As you would know, this one's in my Beauty A to Z and it does really pop. So I'm really looking forward to using these shadows. Then we have my Mad Beauty Hocus Pocus spell book. That is this one right here. Sorry, it does have it. Let me just move its little cover out the way. This is it right here. I am really excited to use these bright shimmery palettes. I've had this in my collection for a little while and I haven't really got much use out of it. So I'm excited to roll this one in as well. Really, I'm excited to roll them all in. Last but not least, I have this Revolution Beautiful Darkness palette. You'll recognize this one from my Beauty A to Z as well as my Buffy project. And it does have quite dark shades in it. And I feel like I'm only now recognizing, which I feel rather stupid about, that a lot of these shadows like match across. They're very similar shades. But I am excited to use this one because though I have two pans in this already and I'm currently working to hit pan on Possessed, a lot of these other shades I've hardly touched at all. So I'm looking forward to giving this one a go. So these are the three palettes rolling in for my last ditched effort at my eyes project pan. Now's the time in the year that I have started thinking about what eyes, what eyeshadow projects I want to work on for 2024. And I would love to know down in the comments what you would like to see me do. I am tossing up with the idea of bringing back my pan of those eyeshadows projects. So please let me know down in the comments what you would love to see me do.
for sticking along this far into the video. And if you are still here and have not yet liked, subscribed, commented, please do so. It really helps out my channel. But until next time, I'm Verity. This was the fourth update for my eyes project pan. And now to the outro.